In the last video, we showed that the Laplacian operator occurs in many partial differential equations that are used in physics. Again, the Laplacian is defined as the divergence of the gradient of some quantity u. And even though we've seen the meaning of the divergence as a measure of flux and of the gradient as the direction of steepest uh, change, of the function, combining these two interpretations is, is not necessarily obvious. And what we'll see is that the Laplacian gives you a measure of how, how much u at some point p differs from its average value in the neighborhood of p. Before doing that, we need to uh, develop the concept of the average of a function so that we can calculate the average value of u about some point. And so it's possible to define the average of a function over a finite domain in 1D. Uh, let's say over an interval A to B. the average value of u, which is just a single variable because from 1D, we'll denote the average by uh, these brackets. It's equal to the upper bound of our interval minus the lower bound. And the integral of our quantity u over this interval. Okay, so this gives you the average value of u in between a and b. In 2D, we now need to generalize our interval to our one dimensional interval to an area. And notice that this area could be the surface of a three dimensional object, it doesn't have to be a a two-dimensional area. It could be, for example, a surface over the surface of a sphere. The average value of u, which now generally depends on two variables, x and y, is equal to one over the area that we're considering times uh, the integral of this quantity u over that area. So this is an integral over the, the entire area. Right, so we can generalize the average from 1D to 2D. And we can continue to 3D where we would like to know the value of a uh, function u of x, y, and z over a volume v. This is again equal to one over v and a triple integral of our quantity u over this volume. And we'll use this concept of the average of a function to, uh, to develop this interpretation of the Laplacian. And we'll do that by considering the average value of a function u over the surface of a sphere. Uh, and you could take any geometric shape because you're looking at a point about P. Uh, the sphere is kind of a, a nice example because all of the points around the sphere are equidistant from the point. Uh, so next video we'll begin developing uh, this interpretation from the average of U over the surface of a sphere.